It was 82. Me and my girl, we did it one time, said I love you, moved in together. That's how you did. Never considered people might think an interracial couple was something. We were in that love bubble, and it was Oakland, full of black people, white people, no big. 83. We moved to another hood in Oaktown, an apartment building. Still stood out as black and white dykes, still didn't care. Driving her 64 Chevy pickup, I heard this pornograph falsetto song and thought, whoa, who's this chick getting so personal on the radio? And the DJ said, that was Prince singing Do Me Baby. And I said, oh shit, I need to pay more attention to this gender fucker. We moved to the white neighborhood. Still standing out, still not caring. But I think it started to wear on us a little, especially her. Being the only white dyke in a black hood was different than being the only black dyke in a white neighborhood. 84, my best friend from high school told me he was positive. I got off the phone and broke down. I sat in the living room that year under the Gone with the Wind spoof poster of Thatcher and Reagan with the mushroom cloud in the background. Watch Mad Max, Brother from Another Planet, Liquid Sky, The Hunger, Christiana F, and Sid and Nancy. Six times each before returning them to the video store. Drank a million buds and slip and slid with our pals and our wife beaters and mirrored cop shades before they became wife pleasers. We most definitely were wife beaters beating the hell out of each other over a free bass pipe. Sat in front of grandma's converted TV console, high lacquered cherry wood cabinet full of records and a turntable. Drank myself silly to Howlin' Wolf and Lightning Hopkins and Gil Scott and Susie Quattro and the Beak of the Twos. For hours listening to Prince's controversy, turning the album cover over in my hand, analyzing, did he really mean it? Did he love us that much? Was he really saying this? Am I black or white? Am I straight or gay? People call me rude. I wish we all were nude. I wish there was no black and white. I wish there were no rules. We were all alone in a world where Christians wanted us dead. But there was Prince. Coke and whiskey and starfish and coffee and let's go crazy and jack you off and Annie Christian and Purple Rain. A cult crossover hit and Under the Cherry Moon, pound by critics, but he could do no wrong. And ruffled shirts and romance and them dykes on stage, his spitting image. Girl versions of him. A narcissist dream of straight acting queers fucking the mirror like there might be something going on, just like us and our pals, brown and black and white, bags and dykes, passing joints at the disco. Sexy. Even if there was a plague, one big cuddle party. It didn't feel lonesome. It felt right. And like motherfuckers better make room for us because if they didn't, we were coming through anyway. Led by the most fearless, least fucks given motherfucker on the planet with all the moves and a voice that could go from girl to boy in a second. If he wasn't intimidated, neither were we. 89. Me and my records got tossed on the street because I got high and everyone was mad. 2016. I'm ashamed now more than I was that day. Because when I look to pay homage to the man, I gotta go on the internet like some kind of poser because I never bought new Prince records. The night after he leaves us, it's full moon. I put on when dubs cry, but I keep stopping in the middle because everyone in the world is playing it. Because somewhere along the line, we all lost our records. The clouds are all over the moon. She's real big behind that cloud cover, I can tell. I light the candles and say, come out, you gotta call him home. The clouds part and I say, sorry Prince, I lost the records, I'm sorry. It's not that I ever stopped loving you, I just thought you'd always be there. <laughs> 